Okay, this short video is going to show you how to perform a hard reset on Cortana, basically to uninstall and reinstall it. And you might want to do that if you're seeing the problem that we're about to demonstrate. Okay, for the last few builds of uh, Windows 1607, well, for Windows Anniversary, um, maybe the last four or five in the fast ring, uh, Cortana has been uh, pretty much dead for me. So let me explain what that means. I click on Cortana, she'll pop up some information, seems responsive. If I click on settings, or if I click on the mic, or if I go into, into uh, window settings here and I do a search uh, for uh, search, or the word Cortana, and then click on the result, uh, Windows become, or Cortana becomes non-responsive for a few minutes. So I'm gonna just do one of these things to show you how it works, and then I'll show you one other oddity that, I'm, um, uh, that I've found that might be related. Um, so let's go. So I'll click on here, and you can see it's sort of responsive. I click on the notebook, I click on about me, it'll tell you bits. Uh, now watch, when I go to settings, that's it, it's locked. And uh, when I go into here, Cortana, I click search, and nothing happens. It just doesn't click the mic, same deal. So now I just have to wait a minute. I'm gonna pause this video because it does take a minute. Actually, let's not do that. Let's, uh, let's leave this running um, so that you can see how long it takes in case uh, uh, one of the developers looks at this and realizes, oh, that's the 28 second timeout that I put in for blah, fill in the blank. Let's see if it's working again. Good, okay, it's working, great. So, uh, so let me go here. Now I'm gonna show you uh, another little oddity that I found. So if I go into, um, if I go into the notebook and I click on About Me and I click Change My Name and it doesn't make a difference what I type in. Um, and then I click Enter. It says, Hear How I Say It. Now listen, I'll press this and nothing happens. So uh, I have no audio. I have, uh, you're, you're not missing it in this recording. It just isn't there. Okay, so I've logged in as a different administrator, which means that I went to uh, my Windows accounts here and I selected myself and I selected um, change account settings and then family and friends and I selected a created new account called uh, X, uh, made it an administrator. Uh, then I went and signed in as that administrator and I deleted in fact, I just renamed, but let me just show you this. I went in and I went to C, Users, Ian. Uh, and then uh, you need to make sure, because I'm going into App Data, and App Data is a hidden folder, it's this one right here, you need to make sure that your view settings have been changed. So click View and make sure that file extension names and hidden names are on. So um, you can do it by command line, then you don't have to worry about this, but it's just, these should be on anyway. So just go to your App Data and then local, and then it's packages, I believe. Yeah, packages. And you'll see here that uh, I've taken the uh, Cortana uh, package and I've, re I've renamed it to underscore old. You could just delete it, but this way I've got a nice fallback. Anyway, so that's what I did um, uh, when I was signed in as the administrator that I cleverly named X. Um, then I'll switch back to my primary user, which is um, the Ian user. And uh, let's just show you what, uh, how to uh, resolve this. So now basically I want to reinstall Cortana. So it's basically gone and I want to re-add it. So what I've got to do here is click uh, the start button, go down to uh, Windows PowerShell. Um, that's a folder, so you have to expand it. Right click on it, make sure you select run as administrator. Click yes. Then, um, this is really just a verification. You can skip this step, but I'm going to show you. If you uh, type in um, PowerShell get app package Cortana, you can check to make sure that it's where it uh, where it used to be and that it's still called the same thing, which is Windows Cortana, blah, 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 ending with Y-E-W-Y. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a command that's going to re-add it in. I'm just going to paste this in. I'll put this in the blog so you can see it. Uh, oh, let me just grab this copy, paste it in, there it is. So what we're going to do is add the application package back in. You can see that this is the same version, Microsoft hasn't changed this one. And um, I'm going to register it. Let's see what happens here, let me slide this down a bit. There it goes, now Cortana's re-registered. Now hopefully this will, um, this usually takes a few seconds from my testing so far. 
But let's uh, just see here. So I'm going to go down. Come on, Cortez. Ah, there it is. Great. You can see this is all cleaned up. This is all back to factory. Let's see if I can click on the settings. Yes, I can. And the microphone. Yeah, there we go. This is great. So I think we're okay now. Let me check uh, Cortana. Let me go to settings. Uh, not Cortana settings, but just general settings. And go to uh, type in Cortana. Whoops. Not too many O's in there. There we go. And yeah, the settings come up right there. That's wonderful. So at this point, I think the issue has been resolved by simply removing uh, Cortana, re-adding it. Uh, so basically doing a hard reset. That's it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at uh, URtech.ca. Bye-bye.